So our product has been created in Printful and been pushed through to our Etsy store. Now it's time to go over to Etsy, check out the product and make a few final adjustments before making it live. Starting from your shop dashboard, click on listings in the side menu. If you have an existing store, in here you'll see all of your existing products. For us with our new store, we just have our temporary product that we set up here during the setup process. Over on the right hand side, you'll see your listing status. We have one which is active and we now have one which is a draft. So let's click here to show only our draft listings. And as if by magic, up comes our pillow that we just created in Printful. Let's click on it and take a look. So we'll need to go through this in quite a bit of detail, seeing it's our first one. And I'm going to talk you through all of the different sections, just in case you haven't had an Etsy store before. If you've had an Etsy store before and you're familiar and comfortable with setting up products, you can probably skip through this section pretty quickly and get right through to hitting publish. If you're new, let's go through step by step. So up at the top here, we have our title for the product as we've already set up in Printful and we have our first stock images here. Now you'll notice that this first one is called primary. What we want to do is set our primary image to be the thumbnail which is going to be representative of our product in the store. So we can do that by drag and drop. So we can pick the one that we want to be our thumbnail at the front there. The thumbnail then comes down here and we can click to adjust if necessary by zooming in and out. But pretty much Printful there has done a great job for us and it shows us perfectly the thumbnail as it is, so it doesn't need any adjustment. We have room for 10 photos in our Etsy listing and we've only got a few in there for now, but, but don't worry about that. We can go through and add in a few more later on. So let's keep scrolling down. So as we scroll down through, again, we see the title and here about this listing. They're basically asking us who made it while well, we're saying I made it. It's a finished product and in this case, it's made to order. We have a category here where we can uh, select within Etsy itself what category our product wants to go into. Now, this one has been defaulted by Printful to bed pillows actually I want to put it more in a, a decorative cushion so I'm going to delete that if I type in cushion it will bring up some suggested categories just here such as pillowcases chair pads bed pillows I want to put it in decorative cushions because it's more of a decorative cushion than a bed pillow for me so I'm going to select that one and now I have a lot of optional parts that we can we can complete uh, you may want to fill out a primary color and a secondary colour, types and shapes, for example. They're all optional, but it can add a little bit more uh, just depth into your product listing and help your customers make the right choice of product from your store. So as we scroll down, there are more that you can use for materials. You can pick a style or a design. Say, for example, this one is abstract or camouflage or plants and trees something like that. So you can pick all of these. They're all optional, but they add a little bit of something extra. In this case, I will fill in for the room. I'm saying you could use this in the bedroom or maybe in the living room. Now you can, if you want, put in lengths and widths, but because this is a product with variations and there are several to choose from, I'm going to leave this blank and allow the variations to do that work for me. And again, there are more options that you can complete, whether it's you know, celebrations or occasions. So if your product is something to do with uh, the holidays, Christmas, Easter or a birthday, you can, choose, uh, you can choose these kind of options. Then we get down to renewal options. There are two options on Etsy on how your product will renew. Every time you list it, it's automatically in the store for four months. And if it is bought during that time, it renews automatically into a new listing. However, if it, um, for whatever reason, doesn't sell within that four month period, it expires. At that time, you have two options. You can leave it on manual, in which case, if it expires, you can choose to renew it yourself. If you think it's an unpopular item and it isn't going to sell, then you can choose not to renew it and it will remove itself from the store. Or you can set it up to automatic 
and as the item comes to the end of the four months and renews, Etsy will automatically renew it for you. That will cost us cost you the extra 20 cents listing fee or it will take one from your free listing allowance. Then we pick our item type, physical or digital. In this case, obviously, it's a physical item that's going to be delivered. Here we have our item description, and this has been brought over from whatever we typed into Printful. But if you like, you can review that and alter it now or add a little bit of extra wording. Now, as we scroll down, we come to production partners. And in this case, Printful is going to provide the production for our printed item. So I will check the box to say Printful or our partner. The section in the store, pillow with inserts has been brought over and that works just fine. And also we've brought over our tags and it tells me that I've got room for two more. So if I want to, I can insert two more in here and I've added an extra couple. And again, here's more here if you want to include additional information about the materials used. As you can see, Etsy provides you with lots of fields and places where you can really describe your products in a lot of detail if you want to. Now let's scroll down again and have a look at inventory and pricing. Because this is a, a product with variations, then those pr the prices are set up according to each variation. And we'll come down to that in a lower section. For the quantity, we have 999, so that every time this item sells, it will be renewed automatically so that Printful can add it back to your store and you can sell it again and Printful will send out another one. Allow restock requests is a handy tool and I suggest you say yes to that one. If your item should sell out for any reason, shoppers can sign up to be alerted when it's back in stock. And so I suggest, yes, that would be a good idea to select that one. And now let's scroll down and have a look in detail at our variations. We have over here our three size variations brought over from Printful. And over on the right, we can choose to make those visible or invisible from the store. So although all three are there, we could choose perhaps to disable the top one, which is the rectangular one, and only include the square ones in our listing, and vice versa. And again, it's also brought over the variation pricing that we entered into Printful from before. Now, one thing which I think is really handy is to click here where it says link photos. You can actually link your size and color variations to examples of photos so that as somebody clicks a particular variation, they can see a relevant photo. So let's click here to link our photos. Up comes our variation box. And if we click on the 20 by 12, we know that's our rectangular. So let's click the rectangular image. The 18 by 18 is the smaller of the square ones. So that's that one. And the 22 is the larger. So now every time somebody picks a particular variation, they will see the photograph which represents that variation in our store. And let's click Save. If you offer the option for an item to be customized or personalized, you can tick this one over to On. That doesn't apply for this, but it may well apply to a personalized or custom item in the future. And we'll come into that in, in a later video. Let's scroll down now to have a look at Delivery. And you can see that Printful has already brought this over for you. It shows you the Printful pillows delivery here, and that has a little box next to it to confirm that that is the correct one. And it confirms the price of the postage according to different regions down at the bottom. So I think that is everything that we need to do for our listing. So let's go and preview it and see if we're happy with how it looks. Click the preview at the bottom of the screen. And here's our listing ready to go live. You can see the various different images. And over here, there are the size options where your customers can select. And the details here, the description of your item that you entered into Printful and checked again into Etsy. So if you are happy with how your product looks, then you can publish. We're going to go back and save ours again as a draft because I do want to, in uh, to include a few more images. So let's save this one as a draft. In our next video, I'll have a look at using the Printful mock-up generator to create some additional photographs that you can add into your Etsy listings. See you then.